Hey going everyone, it's Ian Arino here from showroomgames.com I'm currently filming some in-game footage of Diablo 3 after its release one week ago and I'm going to give a bit of my opinion slash review on the game itself. I'm actually quite happy that I bought the game, I only bought it three days ago because I deliberated as to whether I wanted to get it or not but thankfully I did because the last two days it's provided me much enjoyment and entertainment I've completed all the way through normal difficulty and I'm actually sitting here in town now on Nightmare. And just a couple of key features about the game that I'm really happy about is the auction house. Now, opening up this guy here, the items that you can buy from the auction house make your gameplay so much more appealing. Like I've gone and constantly pumped money into the auction house as I save it up buying items to make my questing a lot easier and more enjoyable. Now some people I've met online and in-game have opted that I train blacksmithing and I've been wasting my money on items but I disagree this is the way I want to play the game I will get into blacksmithing at some point but at the moment I just want to play the game I'm pretty sure that you'll be able to you know craft some amazing items down the end of the game but at the moment I'm playing for a bit of enjoyment so yeah the auction house I'm all for it it's excellent I mean I haven't really gotten into the the money side of things but yeah that's for another day um, another key aspect of the game that I really enjoy is no more requirements for town portal or identify scrolls they are literally unlimited use when you can do them so that's something you don't have to you know go out to the middle of nowhere and then realize you've ran out of portals and not refilled your book that's a positive in its way. Uh, for me, the amazing setup of the new skill tree is good. You've got your left and right mouse clicks as signature spells and your secondary, your primary and your secondary skills. One of them using up the new form of mana, mana, wherever you're from, um, of arc is arcane power. Now, it's fast regenerating. It hasn't got a very big pool, but unlike Diablo 2, where you'd have to keep pumping super super mana potions you can now create a bit of a rotation going here so you'll use it up and then cap it off with a non arcane using signature spell it's okay stop talking <laughs> oh come on Alright, excellent. Now, and the skill trees, you are no longer locked into a cookie cutter or one pick only build. You can forge and tailor your skills per situation, per boss. You can now be built towards a lot of AoE for when you're getting towards a boss, and then you can gear everything towards one on one damage, or you can summon mobs. This is in the particular class that I'm in, the actual wizard, which I'm enjoying quite thoroughly. And then you've also got passive skills to enhance your. All sorts of things. You can go from resistances, reduced melee damage, increased damage but reduced armor. So if you want to be more of a an artillery and you've got someone in the party with you, you can do that. Or you want to really trust your um, hired person. For at the moment, I've got the Templar. I've put a couple of nice items on him. He's got. He's a good tank, as far as I'm concerned. He keeps him away from me and he heals me when I'm almost dying. Um, Alright, as far as a bit of the gameplay goes and the boss fights, bosses now have triggered difficulties at certain percentages of their life, which is a good key feature that I think has come from World of Warcraft. Um, remember in Diablo 2, once you got used to how the boss moved, he didn't change in difficulty at all, he just did the same thing over and over again. But in this one's a little bit different, they've got percentage based triggered difficulties, which I'm happy about. Now let's just quickly go out here and check out some fighting. Now my personal favorite skill in this character is the Archon, a good <laughs> a good add-on from I guess inspired by StarCraft, one of my favorite units. Hang on a sec. It's a very OP attack once you're fighting bosses and hordes of men like I'm about to now. It has a cooldown bar that keeps refreshing as you kill men. Let's see. As you can see, it keeps refreshing. So theoretically, 
you can keep it up the whole time. It'll and when they get too close, you've got like a AOE attack. Here we go. It's still refreshing it. Not going to run out. And you can use a bit of a melee attack as well if you want. That is my favorite spell by far with this particular tune. I mean, I didn't use the lightning and stuff, but I'll quickly go on here and use some of it. Arcane Ball, sorry, Arcane, well, Arcane Orb, Chain Lightning, Cross Nova, Force Push, and you can create your own little bit of a rotation, which I'm very, very happy about. So all in all, I'm very pleased and I'm very glad that I bought the game and I'm going to enjoy keep playing it and as I get further into it and find out some new stuff I'll put up more videos but thank you for listening and again Ian Areno from showroomgames.com I will talk to you next time bye